Aries, hi, uh, Maya here. Welcome back to my channel. I am happy to be back with you for your love readings, May 2022. So let's get straight into the reading. I'm going to uh, start by doing a quick past spread, and then I'll do a spread for you and a spread for your person. So let's start straight away. Aries. All right, so you have the Five of Swords, the Tower, the Five of Pentacles, whoa, and the Ten of Pentacles, um, wow, intense. Bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Wands, the Lovers, and the Hierophant. Wow, so this is um, a relationship, a partnership, a connection. Uh, that has been through a lot. Look at that. Uh, first of all, the tower uh, straight away, you know, uh, uh, comes at me. You know, the lightning has struck this uh, connection that you hear about. Uh, there was a faulty foundation, a flawed foundation that had to go, or an old foundation that you outgrew and needed to go. And so there was an explosion. There was um, a divine intervention here to do away with this faulty foundation uh, was, I'm not going to kid you, the tower is a pretty uh, humongous energy, it's big, it shatters uh, our foundation to the core, it is really explosive, right, it's um, not a small energy <laughs> by any means, it's huge, right, so this is, this has, it either happened in a given situation in a certain connection uh, or relationship that you have, Aries, or in your love life in general. And this resulted, I mean, you know, when the tower happens, it does blow away things, right? So there's dust all over the place. It brings up a lot of issues uh, that, need, uh, that need to be dealt with uh, straight away. Uh, sorry, there's a lot of wind today, and um, my shutter is going to keep on closing, so sorry for the lighting if it's a bit iffy. Uh, so it does blow away uh, things out of proportion as well. And uh, so the result of that, uh, you have two fives, you know, the five of pentacles and the five of swords. So change, um, challenge. Um, difficulties, uh, you know, fives are really the thick of change where we're in it and there seems to be nothing else around us but difficulty, challenge, conflict, um, the five of swords, uh, you know, uh, hurt people, hurt people, <laughs> uh, it's not, uh, this guy doesn't have uh, the coolest energy, he's um, wants to win at all costs, no matter what he has to do, no, ma no matter how many people he has to crush, uh, power tripping here, mind games, manipulation, and the five of pentacles, which where we are feeling extremely alone. Um, nobody has our back. We are uh, marginalized on the outskirts looking in. So difficult energies that come around the tower and no wonder because the tower tends to dredge up all these energies to be healed, right? But then you have the most beautiful... Um, cards as well it's very contrasting energies you have the ten of pentacles so beautiful abundance within a home family um, financial security emotion se emotional security we have the higher front which is higher levels of commitment we have the lovers that indicates a beautiful soul bond and we have the six of wands which indicates uh, victory over past hardships so it's either after this uh, big blow up happens in this connection, relationship, partnership, whatever, uh, however you want to call it, after this big blow up happens, uh, then this um, connection is uh, restored to the most beautiful solid space here and you're victorious over these past hardships or uh, this happens in, this blow up happens in a relationship, right, and it's over and then there's a new one that is uh, so beautiful and solid as well and that will make you feel victorious over past hardships and love. So it's either or, we're going to see that in more details uh, with your spreads. 
So I'm going to do your spread on the right hand side, Aries, and your person on the left. Uh, please feel free to switch sides if one of them speaks to you more than the other. And uh, because remember, it's completely interchangeable and it's not gender specific. Also remember, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone or all the way. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, let's start. So the way you are showing up, wow, Aries, in May is uh, the Empress. The way you feel about your person is death. The way you think of them is the star, wow, look at that, three cards, three major arcana, wow. And uh, the way you think of the whole situation is the page of pentacles. And bottom of the deck, wow, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, wow. So now I'm going to do your person with a different deck on the left-hand side to see if there are mirror energies between you guys. So the way your person is presenting, wow, it's the Two of Cups. Lots, a lot of love here. A lot of love here. The way uh, they think of you is the Knight of Cups. They feel about you, sorry, it's the Knight of Cups. The way they think of you is the Ten of Pentacles uh, that we see again here. And uh, the way uh, they feel about the whole situation is the Knight of Swords, bottom of the deck. They have the Fool and the Five of uh, Swords again, wow. So for a lot of you, and please feel free to switch sides, it feels like it was your person who brought this tower moment, who brought up this tower moment, and now they absolutely want to, um, you know, uh, redeem themselves here. Uh, wow. Very beautiful cards, Aries. So let's take it one step at a time. So Aries, you are presenting as uh, the Empress in May. So filled with abundance, filled with magnetism. You're so attractive. <laughs> Extremely as attractive cards. It's Libra and um, Taurus energy. Uh, Venus ruled. It talks about... Let me just open the shutters. To get more light in. That's better. So uh, it's uh, the money, beauty, abundance... Uh, of uh, Libra that is being anchored in the physical by the Taurian energy, the, the Empress. So the promise of a new life, of a new start, a new beginning, and you are being so attractive, so magnetic. Um, Aries, it's beautiful. Uh, she is the queen of queens, not gender specific, really sitting pretty on her throne. Um, you know exactly your power, you have your mojo uh, all the way up here. You are extremely attractive to your person and they're <laughs> we're gonna see that in a second when we get to their spread but really solid solid place you are in uh, here uh, in May um, Aries so the way you feel about your person is death so for some of you this could be that this uh, relationship actually ended in the past with this tower moment uh, which led to a lot of conflict at, as we saw in the past spread so you might think of uh, this uh, relationship as being over uh, at the time we speak, uh, or you are um, seeing a transformation that is happening in your person uh, with a death major arcana, uh, Scorpio energy. Maybe you're seeing uh, the transformation after the tower moment. So for some of you, it could be you could be feeling that it's over, and for others, you're seeing the transformation in your person. Then we have the star. Wow! So so much healing, Aquarius energy. In this partnership, so much healing. I mean, it's not even funny. With death, the Empress, I mean, three major arcana for five cards, uh, for four cards, really. Um, wow. I mean, uh, this is a wish come true. This is aligning with your stars. This is very, very profound, deep healing that happens to the point where you, can, you feel like you can be naked with your person, like you can be vulnerable again. There's balance being restored between your emotional uh, body and your physical uh, your physical uh, realm basically your emotions and your material material word world dreams coming true uh, big time healing here wow 
the way you uh, feel about the whole situation is the page of pentacles so you do want do want a new beginning here in the physical you do want it you're a, a little bit timid about it or it's still uh, just being instigated uh, in uh, may but it's there you want it and it's all the way there with the ace of pentacles there is a new beginning in the uh in the cards here uh, I know that in the past spread I said maybe uh, the rela one relationship is over and a new one beginning, but really here what I'm seeing is it's the same relationship that uh, comes back for a new beginning uh, because there's too much history here. There's too much uh, that has happened uh, as I see it here for this to be a new relationship, but take it as you will. Uh, it might be that the actual, uh, the old relationship is old and now there's a beautiful new one where uh, uh, that is completely healed and that takes you to a brand new start in the physical, uh, uh, a brand new start that is tangible, that is solid, uh, that is grounded, that, uh, you know, engages you in a brand new path here uh, or it is this old uh, relationship uh, that has gone through the mill that is coming back for another incarnation here. Uh, the, your person is presenting as the two of cups, so, so much love. Um, and that's why I'm saying that there's history here. But obviously it could be a new person as well who um, is head over heels in love with you. I mean, they're presenting as the two of cups, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful kindred spirits don't give up on those you love don't give up on those you love so that's why i'm saying there's history here and your person is not giving up as no not at all they're still pretty much very much wholeheartedly in love with you aries um for those of you who uh, this res resonates with and please feel free to switch sides again but your person is head over heels in love with you and look at the way they feel about you is the Knight of Cups. So, so many romantic feelings. Um, they want to uh, give you a, a real offering, an honest offering of love, uh, something that you cannot deny. It's an offer you can't deny. Uh, of course, again, could be a new person, and this person is somebody you can rely on, somebody who's extremely uh, honest, uh, who wears their hearts out on their sleeve, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really tempted to say this is uh, uh, this past person that is coming back because there's too many feelings, too, too much here. Uh, I don't know, that's, that's how I feel. Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Absolutely. Your person wants to, see, to sweep you off your feet. And we're going to see that with the Knight of uh, Swords as well. They want to rush in and sweep you off your feet. Uh, they, they really are... I mean, what I'm seeing here is that the tower happened. They don't need... It, they're not, not necessarily the ones at fault. Or you, uh, you know, it's not like who's to blame here. It's more like it had to happen. And now it's uh, bringing in a brand new phase of of beautiful uh, love in this relationship, completely uh, open love, uh, a love that is expressed by both uh, people, by both parties. That's that's what I'm feeling here. Um, the way they think of you is the Ten of Pentacles. So again, very solid. They think of you as their lifetime partner. They think of you as they want to uh, build a, a real foundation with you uh, to replace the, the foundation that we saw uh, that had to go with the tower, that was shattered uh, with the tower. And now they absolutely want to build the whole shebang with you. They stayed, the kids, the grandparents, the pets, everything. And again, very abundant card for, uh, uh, for financial and home security here. And uh, the way they think of or and feel about the whole situation is the Knight of Swords. So again, they want to rush in and sweep you off your feet. If this is a new person, then their feelings are developing extremely fast when it comes to you. I mean, you meet them and they are head over heels in love with you. And they, 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 they tell you that, they give, give you an offer. And then they want to speak, sweep you off your feet, maybe even, you know, propose. <laughs> so if it's a new person, this is going to go uh, super fast. 
but if it's uh, the this old person that is coming back, yes, they're coming back wanting the whole thing, wanting to commit with you all the way and wanting to sweep you off your feet. They also have uh, the Fool and the Five of Michael, so the Five of Swords. So after all this conflict that you guys have, they want a new beginning. They want a fresh start with you. They want a leap of faith with you. And uh, you also do want that in, to uh, a great degree here, Aries. I mean, you have the Empress, the Star, and the Ace of Pentacles talk about new beginnings. And they want uh, this, this leap of faith with you. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. Yes. So let me get you a potential outcome for me. My dear Aries. Potential outcome May 2022 Aries. All right. So you have the Knight of Cups. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Here is this offer again. I mean. This offer is for real. This is the true, true, true deal here. Real deal. Five of Wands, yes. There's been conflict and competition. Ten of Cups, wow. You had the Ten of Pentacles twice. And now the Ten of Cups. This is really has the potential to go all the way to the Ten of Cups. Ultimate happiness within a couple. Rainbow blessings. And strength. Uh, I think it is pretty clear to me... <laughs> After this tower moment in, and the Hierophant, are you kidding me? After this conflict in the past that, uh, you know, either led to uh, the tower moment or was caused by the tower moment, after this conflict, there's this beautiful offer of love, so genuine. It's been appearing all over your spread here, Aries. It is genuine. So whether it's a new or uh, this, the, the old person coming back, uh, you um, decide. Uh, but really, really genuine offer coming your way uh, that has the potential to go all the way, all the way to the next level. Engagement, uh, moving in together, even marriage here. Ultimate happiness within a couple. And it's going to take you uh, from strength to th strength. So if it's the old person coming back after this tower moment and giving you this offer... This would only have served to strengthen uh, this uh, connection. And if it's a new person... Well, it is going to be a pretty effing strong connection either in, in either way, right? So I hope you like this reading. Uh, please uh, don't forget to leave me or uh, if you like the reading, <laughs> leave me thumbs up. Um, please comment if uh, this resonates with you. And if you are a newcomer, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for passing by. I'll see you soon. Bye.